All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. It's time to go racing. Race one, Giancarlo and Simon Zierk have the front row. Adam Barker, Max Gunther on the second row. Harry Volsmere and Andrew Lau on the third row. Mike Dolling, Mike Marshall have the fourth. Cody Kennedy and Nicole, that's what she said. Creasel, round out your top ten. Xander, if he takes the grid, starts in 11th. It appears Kevin Gerard did not make the grid. He was downloading the updates. Thought he was going to make it, but apparently not. And it looks like 10 cars will line up for the start. I do not see Xander taken to the grid. Xander will be a top contender this season. Hopefully he makes it in, or at least for race two. Another update. Uh, apparently Mike Marshall is only going to race race number one this morning due to other obligations. But a huge shout out to Mike Marshall and the team at Conliffe Solutions who continue to put this on week in and week out, season after season. It is awesome to have Conliffe Solutions on board. Go check them out on the web. Conliffe, you can get all your video conferencing needs from there. Kevin Gerard did not make it. Yep, Thomas, they are, uh, all of them have full sim rigs like what we use for ATS and whatnot, and they are all out there sending it. Does not look like Xander makes the grid. Everybody begins to roll. Kevin Gerard missed the field by one minute. That is heartbreaking, Kevin. Everybody side by side stacked up, headed toward Parabolica, getting ready for the green flag here. Quick look at weather conditions. Air temperature is 80, but track temperature is 109. That is going to cause some issues this morning, especially from what I'm hearing coming out of Parabolica. It's like driving on ice when you get on the gas. Here they come out of the final turn. The iRacing Porsche pace car about to drop into pit row. Giancarlo in control of the start. They get ready. They all fire their away, and the green flag is in the air. Down into that first chicane. This is where things will get interesting. Got one shooting up the middle. Andrew Lau. No, I'm sorry. That was not Lau. That was Mike Dolling. Shot up through the field on that start. What a sin by Dolling. Giancarlo Simon's here. Pull away quickly. <laughs> Thomas, go download you some... Uh, Go download you some eye race and come show them how it's done, buddy. Despite that power move by Mike Doling on the star, we've got a couple of cars into the dirt. Cody Kennedy and Nicole Creasel both off. Cody in the BMW just overshoots it a little bit. Nicole overshoots it a little bit more back behind. Cody, one of the two BMWs in the field this morning. One Porsche driven by Max Gunther. 
and a whole bunch of Ferraris as Harry Volsmere is around. Harry coming out of that final chicane. Oh, what a hard hit. Harry holds the brakes, lets everybody get by, and heads to pit road. Dang, what a heartbreak for a guy. Harry has been in competition for a lot of championships. He will end up with several wins this season. If he ever gets to a point where the consistency is there, he is going to be unstoppable. Mike Dolling also went to pit road. He's on his way back out. I'm willing to bet Dolling got a little bit of damage to the car on that power move off the start. Top three have a little bit of a breakaway. One and a half seconds over fourth place. Andrew Lau, Max Gunther now in fifth. Mike Marshall in sixth, Cody Kennedy in seventh, Nicole, that's what she said, Creasel up to eighth place. <laughs> Mike going now in ninth and Harry back in tenth, but Harry is rolling again. Andrew Lau holding about one and a half seconds back. Max Gunther ended up three seconds behind Andrew, but is starting to close that gap just a little bit. Nicole Creasel now having a battle with Cody Kennedy. Cody slingshot into the outside as they head toward Parabolica. Giancarlo just set the fastest lap so far as he heads off into the first chicane. Thomas could be... <laughs> Did hear a lot of these drivers will be able to make the whole season. Obviously, during the summer, uh, during season three, these guys were had several races with a smaller number of drivers. But this season, we should consistently see a bigger group. Mike Marshall going a little bit wide in the Combo Solutions Ferrari. Despite all the Ferraris around, Max Gunther is on the march. He is closing in now 2.8 seconds behind Andrew Lau. Giancarlo has a one and a quarter second lead now over Simon Zierk. And Adam Barker currently sits in third, has gotten right to Simon's back bumper, the defending champ, trying to get up here and get a victory this morning. Andrew Lau still trying to close the gap, but now two seconds behind that three-way battle. Max Gunther continuing to close in. Mike Marshall sitting in sixth. Cody Kennedy in seventh. Mike Dolling in eighth. Nicole drifting back in the ninth, but Harry Volsmere back in tenth after that hard, hard hit. Hey, good morning, Russell. How are you? How's the arm feeling this morning, buddy?
Kevin. I definitely missed that this morning, but uh, I can guess how you got it. <laughs> Giancarlo continued to extend his lead. It is now two seconds over Simon and Adam. Andrew Lau has cut that gap down to two and a quarter seconds. He has got to pick it up because Max Gunther now two seconds behind. And Mike Marshall is gaining on all of them. He is 3.2 seconds back in closing. The cooler temperatures than what they had in practice has definitely made a huge difference coming out of Parabolica, not seeing the slipping and sliding that we fully expected to with the hot, greasy track. Simon Zirk and Adam Barker have crashed back behind. Here comes Simon and Adam down into that first chicane. Adam shoots to the inside, they touch. Simon goes around. Oh, Andrew Lau, nowhere to go, they stack up. Wow, chaos there. Giancarlo's lead went from about two seconds to about eight and three quarters. Now there's a four car battle for second, but Andrew Lau, who sits in third, is missing his front clip. I would expect to see him on pit road this time. Simon now back in fifth after holding second the first half of this race. Does not look like Adam Barker took any damage in that exchange. Mike Marshall was able to close right up due to that incident as well. Adam looks down to the inside to take third on Lau. Somehow Lau still has some grip there. Whoa, Lau goes wide. And Andrew Lau is not coming in. He is going to try and run the remaining 10 minutes without a front clip. He seems to be keeping pace, at least for the moment, with Barker as they go into the chicane side by side. This didn't work out well in the last lap, but they pull it off this time. Simon Zierk is on pit road. Looks like he did need some repairs. Quickly in, quickly back out. Adam Barker has had another problem. Oh, looks like this started a little further back. Adam Barker, Andrew Lau side by side and oh, they just touch. Adam hard into the wall, he gets into Lau. Ouch, and Adam and Andrew both end up towing the pit road. The defending champ on pit road, he had to tow. A heartbreaking morning for him. Also, just getting word, today is Yannick Gunther's anniversary, so happy anniversary to Yannick and his wife. Hopefully, they have a wonderful day and many more years of love and laughter. Thomas, I know how you feel, buddy.
I used to be on here racing every day and I really, really miss it. Mike Marshall has now made his way to third. Max Gunther in second. They have avoided a lot of chaos, but Giancarlo almost a 10 second lead now. And it looks like Xander has had a little bit of problem back behind. It would help to not hit the wrong button there. Xander did make it out in the Mercedes. But just a little bit wide. Now this is the first race of the season. They do have drop races, so if you're interested in joining, they are recruiting. Max Gunther in second, 10 seconds behind the leader. Mike Marshall now in third, seven and a half seconds back. Mike Dolling in fourth, Simon Zierk back in fifth, but Harry Volsmeer, despite that early incident, is closing in on Simon. He might still have a chance of pulling off a top five here, but Cody Kennedy, the two BMWs are on fire this morning. They are closing in. <laughs> if I could be at, what track is next week? As I can guarantee you, if I could be out there next week, I would. I would also be a moving roadblock. Just over five minutes left to go. Cody about 2.8 seconds behind Harry, but Harry right on Simon's back bumper. And after all the early race chaos, this is the closest battle right now. Andrew Lau is back out on track, fully repaired, as is Adam Barker. But the defending champ now back in 10th place. Xander making it out for a few laps here. He'll uh, run it, finish in 11th, but he will get some points. Meanwhile, Giancarlo is about to lap Andrew Lau. Nicole Creasel continues her consistent runs. As we saw last season, had she not missed a couple of races, she would have been top five in points. Watch for her to make her way up. Not only is she consistently here, consistently getting faster, could be battling for wins by the end of the season. Simon Zierk still sitting in fifth, still has Harry right on the bumper. Managed to put a little breathing room between him and Harry, but uh, not a whole, wow. Harry was sliding it through there. When we go into race number two, you have to wonder, are these guys going to be making tire changes today with the track temperature and the tire wear we're seeing now late in this race 
car is starting to slide around a lot more. Andrew Lau hanging on to the tail end of the field, trying to keep Giancarlo behind him at the moment. Max 10 seconds behind in second, and Mike Marshall another 10 seconds back in third. Mike Dowling is actually closing in on Mike Marshall. He just said his fastest lap of the morning. However, he is about 19 and three quarters of a second back trying to close the gap. Don't forget, right after this, we'll talk to the top three and then we'll go into race number two the endurance race, double the points, and uh, they will have to make a fuel stop. Likely, we could see tire stops here this morning. Mike Marshall, a great start to the season with a third looking like he will finish third here unfortunately Marshall will not be able to make race number two he did say he was going to make an impact here this morning he has certainly done that next week the drivers will be at Sebring a great track a lot of fun to race there and historically, a great Ferrari track. Simon Zierk has opened up a two and a half second gap on Harry Volsmeer now. Cody Kennedy was uh, right there with him, is now falling back a bit, currently running in seventh. As Andrew Lau has almost caught Nicole, that's what she said, Greasel. Can she hold him off? Nicole currently runs in eighth, Lau in ninth. And out of the final turn, the season opening race, Giancarlo will pull off the win once again. Max Gunther comes home second, and Mike Marshall will finish third. A great, great start to the season. And let's talk to our top three, starting with Mike Marshall. Hey, Mike. Hey. Mike, it's Doug. You got me? Hey, Doug. What's going on? <laughs> you said before the race you couldn't make race two, so you were going to make an impact in race one. You definitely did. Yeah, well, I got lucky there. You know, I managed to stay consistent and keep my nose out of trouble. <laughs> That, uh, it, it was definitely close a couple of times for you, but you did keep it clean and managed to come up. Well, so much for keeping it clean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A great job nonetheless. What a great start to the season, man. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Mar Mike Marshall comes home in third. Max Gunther comes home in second. Max, a great start to the season coming home in second, but uh, that Porsche did, just did not have enough for the, all the Ferraris this morning. 
No, it's quite slow on that track uh, in regards to the Ferraris. Um, they are really quick here. Uh, going into race two, now you're going to have to fight through traffic with that uh, slightly slower car. How are you feeling about your chances? Uh, as long as it uh, happens the same way it did here and everybody takes everybody out, <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> but if I really have to fight, it's really difficult because I don't have the speed advantage at corner entry, mid corner or corner exit. I did notice at the the last part of that race, probably the last two laps, started seeing some back end slip coming through the corners. Were you having any problems and are you expecting to change tires in this race? Uh, I think I will because um, it's 50 minutes um, and it's the, the track is really tough on, on the tires, at least the left ones. I think probably going to change two, maybe four. I don't know yet. Well, man, good luck today and a great finish to race one, buddy. Thanks, Doug. Thank you. Max Guther comes home in second. Hey, good morning, Hayes. And let's talk to our winner. Giancarlo, your first race back and you get the win. <laughs> yep, it uh, feels good. You know, I was... I was away for, for a number of weeks last season, so good to start this one on, on a high. Definitely was. Will we see you this whole season then? I hope so. You know, over the summer, a lot of, a lot of things to do on Sundays. Um, but now that the summer is a little bit behind us, I'm hoping to be here every week. And will we see, uh, obviously in your previous championships, you showed dominance from the beginning of the season. Are we about to see another Giancarlo dominated season? Uh, it's a it's a good question, but you never know. You know, got to take it, <laughs> got to take it week by week to to get the get the points. And I have to ask the all important question here: How is the new Ferrari? Um, I I like it. It's a bit different than like the Porsche or or the Lambo that I raced previously. So I'm still understanding how best to drive it. But but it's a fun car and it sounds beautiful and it looks fantastic, which is probably the most important part. <laughs> it definitely is, man. A great win. Congratulations. Good luck in race number two. You got a lot of traffic to come through. Yep. Thanks, Doug. Appreciate it. So now they will go into race two, a 50-minute endurance race. But here's the kicker. The top seven will invert. So Giancarlo will be starting in seventh place. He is going to have a fight on his hands. And if we see issues like we saw in that first chicane, things are definitely going to be uh, going to get exciting out there. Good morning, Hayes Gaming. Uh, it is very cool. How the heck are you this morning? Simon Zierk getting some practice in here. Looks like Cody Kennedy is rolling out the two BMWs, making some last-minute adjustments before going into it. And Kevin is just happy to not... Although, Kevin, the one time you ended up on the pole, up until that incident, you were out front and kind of pulling away. Hey, good morning, Nicole. That's what she said, Creasel, and good luck this morning. Just over a minute left to go in the warm up as the drivers make final adjustments. Add some fuel and get ready to go into race number two. 50 minutes around Monza is going to be interesting, especially knowing that that track temperature is up high. Those left side tires being eight up this morning. Track temp has actually dropped down to 105 here in warm up. Could the track be cooler, and how much of a change in strategy will we see going into race two?
Giancarlo was right. That new Ferrari, that is, that is beautiful. See if we can get an image from pit lane. The lines on the new car are just gorgeous. All right, ladies and gentlemen, race number two. We'll see Cody Kennedy and Harry Volsmeer on the front row. Simon Zierk, Mike Dolling on the second row. Mike Marshall scheduled to start on the third row, but will not be gritting. Max Gunther in sixth. Giancarlo and Andrew Lau on the fourth row. Nicole, that's what she said. Greasel, Adam Barker round out the top ten, and Xander run, starting in 11th. Now we really get to see how that uh, Mercedes is this season. Does it still have that big power advantage that could definitely come into play with the big straightaways here at Monza? The field is rolling due to Mike Marshall being out. Jean Carlo will actually move up a lane. Harry Volsmere on that front row with Cody Kennedy. And Harry, if he gets out front early, he might be unstoppable. He is uh, one of those drivers that once he's gone, he is gone. You struggle to catch up to him. Giancarlo fell a little behind there on the go, but has fallen in line now. Cody Kennedy will control the start here. Porsche Pace Car is in. Here they go. Cody's holding back, holding back, holding back. Fires green flag is in the air. I bet that caught quite a few of them by surprise as we've got three wide down the front straightaway. Jean Carlo goes, and here comes Harry. Looks like Harry lost a little ground on the start. They're going to stack up in the first chicane. Simon's around. Harry's around. Several cars get a piece of it. Holy cow, what a start. Cody Kennedy is checking out. Xander has shot his way up to second. Mike Dolling now into third, Giancarlo in fourth, Adam Barker in fifth, taking a look to see, and it looks like a few of these drivers might have gotten some damage. But Xander and Cody Kennedy did not. Let's take another look at that incident in the first chicane. Down the front, straight away, Simon, Harry, and Cody go three wide into the chicane. Cody backed out and managed to avoid it. Several cars get caught up in it and have to go off over the rumble strips. Nicole Creasel back behind. I think she made it through this mess clear cleanly. Everybody stacks up. She manages to get the car stopped. Obviously, Simon Zierk ends up going around as well. Adam Barker comes to a complete stop, but manages to come through that okay.
Looks like there was some more chaos. Andrew Lau involved. Coming through that second, Chicane just hits that inside bump a little too hard and goes around, but manages to avoid any major damage. And Xander is showing, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, they are definitely doing Monza stuff. <laughs> And good morning, Pharaoh Baba. How are you doing this morning? Xander showing that Merck still has all the power in the world. He is in the lead over Dolling. Adam Barker back up into third. Giancarlo in fourth and Max Gunther in fifth. Xander trying to put a gap on Dolling. Adam Barker and Giancarlo trying to close the gap between Adam and Giancarlo. That is seven championships. Between the two of them, could one of these drivers with the start of the new season, could one of them be looking at their next title? Meanwhile, Xander just set the fastest lap of the race. Clean air doing really well for the Mercedes this morning. Don't forget to tune in tonight, 7.30 Eastern, as the BRR Cup playoffs continue. Tonight is an elimination race. Who will be the final four? Jones BS Racing is back tomorrow night at 8.30 Eastern and XCAL Tuesday night at 7.20 Eastern and Wednesday night at 9 Eastern with the Nowski Nation as their season winds down and some huge announcements about the future. Max Gunther currently in fifth. We heard him talking after that first race that that Porsche just does not have the cornering advantage this season like it had previously. Well, the Nowski season ends uh, a week from Wednesday, so they're talking about what their next few seasons are going to be. God, hover cars would be great. And that time by, Xander was even faster, setting an even faster fast lap. Mike Dolling now two and a half seconds back has a mirror full of Adam Barker and now Giancarlo. But Mike Dolling did not get the nickname the Minister of Defense for nothing. They were able to catch Dolan. Can they actually get past him, though? Xander, the leader has crashed. The leader has crashed. Getting the car up to speed. Uh, okay. I think we might have a glitch with scoring.
Oh, Xander is behind. Let's try this again. Oh, he came through that second chicane, hit that bump. We've seen that a couple of times this morning and lost several positions. No damage, but lost the lead. Can he get it back? Vander now back into fifth after setting the two fastest laps of the morning. Six seconds, now seven seconds out of the lead as Mike Doling is there. But Adam Barker and Giancarlo are right there with Doling. We're about to have a three-car battle for the lead. Max Gunther is starting to gain a little ground in fourth place. Xander right behind him gaining on him as well. If the three up front start battling heavily, these uh, the two behind will catch up very quickly. Cody Kennedy has had a problem back behind. Oh, just slides it. We talked about how greasy the track. Holy cow. Wow. Andrew Lau, Simon Zierke, don't get no closer than that. Kind of curious. Let's see how close Andrew Lau got to that. You're in car with Andrew Lau. Cody Kennedy just ahead. You see him snap loose. <laughs> yeah, Andrew was about to go to the grass for that one. Cody Kennedy is on pit road for repairs as Adam Barker tries to get by the Minister of Defense. He's got the nose ahead and he does manage to clear. Mike's looking back to the inside. Couldn't get it there. And Adam Barker, the defending champ, is in the lead. But don't look now, Giancarlo is right there with him. Max Gunther and Xander both closing in from behind as they battle for the lead. They are using every bit of the track, every bit of the track limits. Giancarlo trying to make a move using the slipstream as they head down into that first chicane. Doling looks back to the inside. Could not get it done in the chicane that time. This is definitely helping Max Gunther and Xander back behind. Xander less than, a, or right out one second behind Max now, and Max is less than three seconds behind this battle. You heard Max saying uh, between races that that Porsche just does not have the cornering advantage anymore. Avery currently sitting in fourth place and uh, gaining ground due to the battling up ahead. Adam's starting to pull a little bit of a gap on Doling. 
Giancarlo right there with him. Xander has just about caught up to the back bumper on Max Gunther. Going on to the front straightaway, he might have the momentum and the slipstream to get by Max. Max gets it off the corner better, but man, the uh, Mercedes power comes into play the longer the straightaway. Giancarlo peaked there for a minute. Does look like Giancarlo has had a little bump at some point. That front splitter a little bit up. Nothing significant. <laughs> Actually, now that I look at the hood on his car is a little bit banged up as well. I know he was caught up in that lap one excitement. Giancarlo has a run trying to get by Dolling. Max and Xander closing in while they're side by side. Dolan comes out ahead. And Adam Barker is pulling away as they battle his lead now. 1.7 seconds. But how much of this race will be decided on pit road is the question. They do have to worry about the fuel run here. Back behind, Andrew Lau in six, Simon Zierk in seventh battling it out as well. Harry Volsmeer in eighth with that damage from earlier has not been to pit road. Nicole Creasel currently in ninth, Cody Kennedy running in tenth. Xander has gotten by Max Gunther. Now just 2.6 seconds behind that battle for second as Giancarlo looked again but couldn't get there. Whoa, Dolan gets a little loose coming out of there. That might have been all Giancarlo needed. Just that little slip up. They are side by side into the left hander. The advantage here does go to Dolan and he manages to hold the position. However, Xander has now closed back in to within one second of this battle, and he has brought Max Gunther with him. Adam Barker went a little bit wide through the final turn. No significant slowdown, though, as here comes Giancarlo. Headed on the inside this time into that first chicane. Are they going to try it side by side? No, they do not. Giancarlo backs out early. And now Xander is right there. Max is right there. And Adam Barker has opened up a three and a half second lead as they battle.
<laughs> Xander all over Jean Carlos bumper. He is dead. This is about to get really interesting. Those two big straightaways coming up. Max Gunther just lurking behind as Andrew Lau has a problem and Simon gets by. John Carlo has been unable to get past the Minister of Defense. Can Lau get past John Car or I'm sorry, can Xander get past John Carlo now? Hey, good morning, Richie. How are you, man? John Carlo looks to the bottom again. Xander was going to follow. John Carlo did not have the momentum. You see the Mercedes struggles through those tight turns. Well, watch just how quickly that power pulls it up. Richie, big plans for today, buddy. While they battle second through fifth place, Adam Barker's lead is now almost four seconds over Mike Dolling. He is gone. These guys have to hope Adam makes a mistake on pit road. And welcome everybody who new here. I hope everybody is having a great Sunday. Make sure you drop us a like. Follow, subscribe, and share. Drop in the comments. Tell us what your big plans for today are. <laughs> Mike Dolling currently in second. Jean Carlo in third. Xander in fourth. Max in fifth. Simon Zierick now in sixth, uh, about 13 seconds back, but with pit stops coming. And that battle up ahead, he and Andrew Lau could close that gap. Really impressed that uh, Harry, despite missing the front clip, is still out here. However, they are just a couple of laps from pit stop. Giancarlo has the run. Can he get it done this time into the chicane? Oh, it gets tight. And look at this. Sander took advantage. He's looking on the inside. Could not get it done there, but man, Xander just told Giancarlo he is there and he is in trouble. Giancarlo moves to block. Xander's got the power. And now it's side by side for third. And Xander pulls ahead. Oh, a little bobble out of the turn. Xander still manages to hold on to it. And look at this. Max Gunther in the Porsche makes a move for fourth. Giancarlo was battling for second last time by. This time he's dropped all the way to fifth. Giancarlo could not find a way past Mike Dolling. Can he get it done this time? Richie, you need to get back in the race car, buddy. Next week is Sebring. Adam Barker's lead continues to grow. Now five and a quarter seconds over Mike Dolling. Xander in third, Max in fourth, Jean Carlo in fifth. Simon Zierk in sixth with Andrew Lau in seventh. And we talked about it a moment ago, that gap up to that top five was about 13 and a half seconds. 
Simon and Andrew have closed that gap. It is now down to 11 and a half seconds. I do not think those two are out of this fight yet. Adam Barker going by the lap car of Cody Kennedy. And look at this, Xander has got a run. He is underneath Mike Dolan. He'll have the power advantage onto the straight. Xander gets it done. He moves back into second place. After that early race mistake and losing, he went from the lead back to about sixth place, has fought his way back to second. Now 5.6 seconds behind Adam Barker. And Max Gunther is taking advantage of that Mercedes ahead. Every time that Mercedes opens the door, the Porsche goes through. Uh, Thomas, remind me later to, to send you a playlist, buddy. <laughs> Look at this. Max on the outside, Dolling trying to get back to the inside. They're going to go three wide onto the front stretch. No, Dolling slips up high. And here they come. Max is in. Giancarlo is in. Nicole Creasel is in. And let's see if the drivers take tires or fuel only. Nicole taking tires. Max is up for tires, and I think Giancarlo also is up for tires. Thomas, I raced at uh, Eldora Friday night. Xander now in second, 6.4 seconds behind Adam Barker. Mike Dolling in third, about nine tenths of a second back. Simon Zierk and Andrew Lau continue to close in on the top five. Hey, good luck, Thomas. The gap now from Simon to Mike Dolling is under 11 seconds as they continue to reel in the leaders. Everybody is within the fuel window this time by Adam Barker brings it in. Xander is going to come in in second, Doling in third. Let's see what kind of pit strategies we have here. Adam is up for four tires. Xander is taking tires. I expect to see Doling. Yep, Doling also taking tires. Simon Zierk is on his way in. Harry surprisingly stays out. Andrew Lau also stays out alone. I have to think, uh, maybe Andrew, due to having a big gulp car, has a bigger fuel tank. Andrew Lau, Harry Volsmere, the only two drivers who have not been to pit road and you got to hand it to Harry. His lap times, despite missing the front clip, have not dropped very much. But now he is going to have to get in, get four fresh tires, and get that front end repaired. With all these drivers coming off pit road, four fresh tires, it's going to get interesting.
Wow, and the most beautiful woman in the world is watching. Hey, baby. Xander's gap to the leader now 4.1 seconds. Sean Carl, we've still got a three car battle going on. They are trying like crazy. I think they're trying to wreck. Jean Carlo currently uh, in fifth. Andrew Lau is in. Harry Volsmeer is in. Well, they were battling just two seconds ago, but now it looks like Dolling went a little wide. May have had a slowdown, giving Giancarlo some breathing room for the moment. Max Gunther still right there with him as they head toward that first chicane. Lau on his way out, Harry on his way out, a repaired car. Xander trying to close in now 4.2 seconds behind Adam Barker. Giancarlo and crew about four seconds behind him. Andrew Lau and Simon Zierk made up a lot of time. Lau, oh! Lau now just 10 seconds behind and Simon is caught back up to him. Although Lau did lose a little momentum coming through that second chicane. Adam Barker's lead continuing to shrink as the Mercedes power is pulling even closer. Less than four seconds. At the start finish line, Xander was two tenths of a second faster last time by. We'll compare it after this lap once the tires have some heat in them. Giancarlo, Mike Dolling, and Max Gunther all still together. Andrew Lau, Simon Zierk also together. Harry just five and a half seconds behind Lau and Zirk, and he is closing in. Cody Kennedy back in ninth, Nicole Creasel in tenth. And Xander has started really closing in. The gap now down to 3.4 seconds. Giancarlo, Mike Dolling, Max Gunther, all three still together for the moment. Whoa! Max hanging it all out there. Cody Kennedy is back on pit lane. <laughs> Last time by, Xander just set the fastest lap of the race. He was almost a full second faster than the leader. The gap is now three seconds.
Nicole Creasel just moved up in the ninth as she comes by Cody Kennedy. Could see a battle there as well here in a few laps. Giancarlo still holding off. Mike Doling and Max Gunther for the moment. Andrew Lau, Simon Zierk. They were gaining ground on the cars ahead, but at the moment, they are losing ground. Nicole has crashed back behind. Oh, she just gets into that second chicane right in front of Cody. A little too deep, ends up going over the bump and going around. Cody followed her through. Adam Barker at the moment holds the lead at three seconds, but Xander continues to be faster. Last time by, Giancarlo actually matched Xander's pace. <laughs> nice work, Thomas. Mike Dolling, Max Gunther still holding on, although Max has a little uh, space between him and Dolling. Andrew Lau, Simon Zirk still sixth and seventh. Harry Volsmere in eighth. Oh! Nicole just overshoots that one. Cody Kennedy slips back by into ninth. Looks like, looks like Max Gunther may be losing touch with the two cars ahead. Cody Kennedy has had a problem. Oh, Cody gets the angle right, but gets too much of that inside bump at the apex and goes around. Oh, Richie, get it done, buddy. We'd love to see you back out here. Adam Barker's lead has started to shrink again. He managed to maintain the gap for a couple of laps, but now Xander has closed back in under two and a half seconds. Giancarlo and Mike Dolling still going at it, but now Max Gunther out of the equation, 1.8 seconds back. Meanwhile, Andrew Lau and Simon Zierk have cranked it back up. They are starting to close. Back in on the cars ahead, but they have over 10 and a half seconds is the gap and not a lot of time left. Adams lead under two and a quarter seconds and it's shrinking rapidly. Mike Dolling still lurking on Giancarlo's bumper. Max Gunther has lost the slipstream.
The gap at the line was two seconds. The last time by, Xander was four tenths of a second faster. Giancarlo, who won the first race, currently in third, battling with Mike Dolling. They have pulled a gap on Max Gunther of 2.1 seconds. Lau and Zirk continue to try and reel them in. Harry Volksmere was gaining on Simon, but now is six and a quarter seconds back. Xander just continues to march towards the lead. Mike Dolling has had a problem and lost third. Mike in second, Max, or er, Looked like Mike had a little bit of an off track and may have had a slow down here. Oh, he got way loose out of that turn. Max just goes right by. Adam Barker is looking in his mirror, seeing a Mercedes getting closer and closer. One and a half seconds is the gap. Giancarlo in third now has some breathing room. Max Gunther in fourth, about 3.7 seconds back. Mike Dolling now in fifth, two seconds behind Max. Andrew Lau, Simon Zierick about eight and a half seconds back from Dolling, but with nine and a half minutes left, not sure they will be able to catch up. Out of the Parabolica, down the last, uh, or down the front straightaway, Now the lead is right at one second. What a comeback this is going to be for Xander if he can pull off the win. Heck, even finishing second after that early race incident sent him back to sixth. This has been an epic comeback, and he is warning Adam Barker he is there. Xander is closed in. He is in Barker's slipstream now. Giancarlo in third, seven and a half seconds back, will not come into play. And it doesn't look like any lap traffic will come into play, at least not in this battle. Xander right on Adam's bumper as they head toward the Parabolica.
Oh, he was all over Adam's bumper trying to carry as much momentum as possible. And it's going to be a drag race here. Cody Kennedy has had a problem behind. We'll take a look in a minute, but here we go. Xander shoots to the outside, headed toward the first chicane. Xander has the position going into the second turn. Xander has reclaimed the lead. Let's see what happened to Cody. Into that first chicane just clips the inside and it sends him around. A couple of laps into this race, Xander was opening up a gap, made a mistake in the chicane. Holy cow, he is hanging it all out. Made a mistake that sent him back to sixth place in the second chicane, has fought his way back, and has reclaimed the lead. Adam Barker, the defending champ, holding on to second after a really bad first race still has to be happy coming home with a, finish, a podium finish today. Giancarlo who won race number one currently sitting in third. Max Gunther now in fourth pulling away from Mike Dolling in fifth. Andrew Lau and Simon Zierk have continued to reel in Mike Dolling and everybody, they are now just seven seconds behind fifth place Mike Dolling, and Lau is actually pulling a small gap on Simon's ear. Harry Volsmeer back in eighth. Nicole Creasel has now moved back into ninth place, and Cody Kennedy in tenth. Less than five minutes left to go in this race, and wow, what a comeback it has been for Xander. Adam Barker did everything he could to keep that Mercedes behind him, but the straightaway power just is unstoppable. Giancarlo avoiding all that early chaos to come home and or to run in third. Max Gunther currently in fourth, Mike Dolling in fifth, Andrew Lau in sixth, continuing to close in on Dolling, Simon Zierk in seventh, Harry in eighth, Nicole Creasel in ninth, Cody Kennedy in tenth, trying to close that gap. But it looks like Cody and possibly Nicole will come into play. Xander now coming up to lap traffic. Could be Adam Barker's opportunity. Might be the only opportunity Adam has left. And Cody goes a little bit wide into the dirt, lets the leaders by. Adam has no way to take advantage. Adam Barker currently in second, Giancarlo in third, Max Gunther 
holds on to fourth and is holding Mike Dolling off for the moment. One more lap car ahead could come into play. But Adam now over a second behind. Xander should be seeing the white flag this time. Actually, I did not see the white flag wave. We'll have to wait and see when Xander comes back around. Simon Zier can hang hung on to Andrew Lau, but Lau now in sixth place pulls away and is closing in on Mike Dolling, but will not have enough time. The leaders come by Nicole Creasel and now have clear track to the end. And Xander is using every dang bit of it here. Interestingly, Xander has the second most off tracks. The most off tracks goes to the Porsche of Max Gunther this morning. Checkered flag is out. Xander's comeback is complete. He goes from the lead to sixth and back to pull off the win at Monza. Adam Barker comes home in second. Sean Carlo finishes third. Let's talk to our top three. Sean Carlo, that was one heck of a battle you guys had. Yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, I uh, apparently didn't get the memo that we're supposed to change tires, um, so I was I was hanging on there at the end with with very used tires. I can imagine that would explain a few things, man. Uh, despite the used tires, you did not give up at any point, and it looked like you had a ton of speed regardless. Yeah, I mean, it was it was great racing overall. I had, as, as usual, stuck behind Mike for a little bit. Um, <laughs> seems like a seems like a trend with the Minister of Defense, <laughs> but but very fun race overall. Well, great job, a great morning overall. Congratulations, buddy. Thanks, Doug. Jean Carlo comes home in third. The defending champ comes home in second. Adam, uh, after that first race, that was quite a comeback to come home second. Yeah, it was an uh, unfortunate uh, incident between uh, me and Andrew. I think we just got a little bit of net code, but uh, yeah, good race um, for the second one. Xander's just super quick as usual, so there's no keeping him keeping him behind. Uh, but it was a uh, good race. As a good result. It definitely was, man. And uh, as defending champ, to come here and get a podium today definitely uh, helps get a season off to a right start. Oh, yeah. Uh, always good to, to be on the podium. Uh, nice uh, nice point, points haul, so that's what we're looking for. Well, great job today, buddy. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And finally, our winner, Xander. Xander, you went from first all the way back to sixth and then came back to finish, get the win. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, a really bad mistake, but uh, yeah, wanted to try a different car sometimes. So in the end, it was really fun. I enjoyed driving it. So, yeah. 
It definitely seemed with the Monza straightaways, the Mercedes power really paid off having to come back through the field. Yeah, it really did. My setup was really dangerous as well. I had a lot of snaps and stuff. I was sliding around. <laughs> I, I was running the. I was running zero wing, so. Oh my goodness! Well, it definitely showed out as you came out of some of those high speed turns. Uh, it, it was definitely obvious that back end was trying to leave you. Yeah, yeah, I did it for the fans, you know. <laughs> I was waving. I was doing. I was doing it with one hand, and I was waving to everybody in the stands. Well, obviously the fans loved it, and man, that was one heck of a show, buddy. Congratulations, that was a great win. Thank you, thank you. Wow, he did it for the fans, folks. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to come back. 7.30 Eastern, BRR Cup Series. They are back. It is playoff elimination night. It's going to be a heck of a battle. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you all had as much fun as we did. Have a great night, everybody.